G'day, I'm the Home Distiller and today we're going to finish off the, uh, the pulley, broaching the keyway and uh, putting in the two set, tapping, drilling and tapping the two set screws. So let's get cracking. Well that's the tool that I've ground. And so I had to grind it just to get 5mm uh, width on it. It's just got a little bit of relief on the end. And uh, I did a test cut with a very similar tool on a piece of steel and a uh, little focus. It didn't do a bad job. I wasn't getting all the way through and there was a fair bit of flexing in the tool so we'll see how we go. So this is the basic process of broaching. I'm only advancing the tool about 0 0.025 of a millimetre on each pass. Um, so it's a lot of very very light passes. I found if you go too much you'll just uh, put a roller burr up on the edge and then you'll have to back out and take a whole lot of very light cuts to get rid of the burr before you can pass through. Um, a good workout on the arm with a, such a small little crank on the on the saddle with the C6. You can also see I've got the tool um, raked forward a little bit so it doesn't drag the tool all the way through. And as you can see there, I've just rolled up a burr. And I've had to back out and clear off. Here we are from a different angle. And I've got the uh, tailstock, I actually put a clamp on the belt um, in the back of the lathe to kind of, sorry not the tailstock, the head, the uh, chuck, I've got the chuck basically clamped in place so it doesn't turn just by putting a clamp around the belt so this took about half an hour I think there you go, you can, you can see it it fits it is a wee bit loose but there'll be set screws in it so hopefully that'll be okay A little bit of wobble in it, but again, the QA could have been a little bit shorter. But as I said, there'll be a set screw bearing down on the key, so we'll uh, drill and tap the two set screw holes next. Okay, so we're set up in the mill. So we're 28.75 millimetres wide and halfway for that is 14.375 We also need to add half the uh, edge finder so that would be 2.5 mil 
So we're 16.875, which is about there. And eyeball centric, that looks pretty good. So we're going to uh, reuse the original grub screws. So we're going for M6, which means we need a 5mm tapping drill. Looking for the chuck key. It's a new keyless chuck. I'm not used to it. Okay, well, our uh, grub screw screws in nicely. So we'll put one more in at approximately 90 degrees to that one.
Beautiful. Okay, well there's the pulley attached. Two set screws. Um, I will probably put a bit of a bit of Loctite on them. When they're on there permanently, but It's fairly tight. <sighs> it's not pressed tight, but um, it's definitely tight enough. Hopefully, that pulley will do the job. You can see the broaching worked quite well. There was a little bit of movement in the chuck, I think, when I first started, because there's an extra little gouge there, but I don't think it's going to affect anything. So thanks for watching. Please uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll hopefully have another video next week. I'm trying to uh, have one video a week now, so um, please subscribe. 
if you like this kind of thing.